Uh, so it's time now to integrate uh, Transfex native inside the our app. So we'll have to start with the dependency. We'll just have to add the Transfex native dependency here. and we will sync the project okay and now we have to configure the SDK I have already added the public token of our Transfex uh, project so we have to start with TX native I'll just import okay in it so as you can see uh, this method is the method that uh, configures the SDK, you will have to add the application context, then we have to add um, the local state, which I will talk about later, then we have to add the, the token, and the rest of them are optional, we'll just set them to null, which will use the default uh, values. So get application context, I will leave this blank for now. Uh, we'll use the token here and the rest of them will remain null so that the default CDS host and uh, CAS are used. And we also need the default missing policy. Uh, so we have to configure the local state. So as you can see in the documentation, we'll have to also add the application context. Then we'll have to specify the source local, local, which is English in our case and in most cases. And then we have to add the app locals, which uh, those locals are the locals supported by the application, which is the source local plus the translated uh, locals. So get application context. English, we need to specify an array here, so it will be English, and I will just add Greek at this point, and we also have to specify the current local, which is null, which means uh, that the SDK will handle this automatically, and then we'll use this here. Uh, so now the SDK is configured properly. Properly, uh, we also have to use the fetch translations. Which what this method does is that when the app actually runs, it will try to fetch from the CDS the latest translations. Uh, now the way that the SDK will handle the new translations depend on the on the CAS, the default CAS actually stores the new translations uh, locally in the app but it does not update what you actually see you will have to restart the app so that the previously downloaded translations are actually displayed on screen here if we set it to null we will just download all the uh, translations that the app supports which are taken from here so in this case, it will be just in English. Uh, sorry, it will be Greek because English is our source local. Uh, so now the, the SDK is configured completely. Uh, however, we need to do some more steps to make sure that our activity makes use of the SDK. So if we go to our activity, uh, in th this activity uh, extends up combat activity. Uh, so if you see um, the Transfex native documentation here in our github repo we have to add some code here we can either do it in this activity or create a base activity and make sure that all our activities extend from that one this is what we're gonna do here we will create a base app compat activity
is the code here. You can get it from uh, our uh, documentation. We'll just import what's needed. And now we'll make sure that our app extends our activity extends base app combat activity.